Even though grayscale images have 256 levels, many printing presses are based on a 100% black model. The system will then average out several of your 256 layers, turning them effectively into 100 layers. The duotone color mode allows you to print images with more than one color of ink. This will extend the dynamic range of the image. Duotone is actually somewhat misnamed because in the duotone mode, you actually have the option to go duotone, tritone, or quadtone. First, jump up to the image menu here and select mode grayscale to get rid of all of our color. Discard. Then back up to image, mode, and duotone. Duotone builds on your grayscale image and allows us to fill in several shades of the grayscale with a different color. Let me show you what I mean. Your basic grayscale image is represented here by monotone. Let me slide this over to the side. Monotone is a term used to denote the use of a single color to achieve all of the different values that are in the image. So 100% of the color, in this case black, would represent 100%. And the rest of the image, where this area right in here you can see probably in the neighborhood of a 50% value because it's somewhat gray. If I cancel this, uh, I'll show you what I mean a little better here. So when we're talking about one color, we're really only talking about printing black on top of a white background. And something like 50% black would be right here, roughly in the middle between 100% here and 0% here. So 50% black, as you can see over here on the side, 49%, I got pretty close. If we then change in monotone, we change this black to red, it's effectively moving along this top scale here where 100% red would be a solid red. And then 0% red would be the white again. So in this case, if we go back to our duotone, image, mode, duotone, bring up the duotone dialog, and we change this black, just click on the black, change this black to a red like we talked about. Now you can see everywhere that used to be a solid black is now solid red. And that's because uh, when we read 100% value, we're not plugging in black there, we're plugging in red. The same can be said of any color that we choose here. So when we talk about monotone, that's what we're talking about. We talk about duotone, and that's gonna give us two tones. First one is the black that we started out with, and the second one is gonna represent a mid-range color somewhere in the neighborhood of right here. So we'll select that, and we'll choose whatever color you want here. In this case, I'm just gonna hit a purple. And you can see down here in our color spectrum, how we start at white, we move over to the second color, which is this purple, and finally we transition over into black. Now we can control how this transition works simply by clicking in here in this little box with a little diagonal line through it, and this will actually bring up a curves panel, which we can then play with. So in this case, let's say I'll bring this up to 50%, and you'll notice as I'm changing the curves, it changes how the colors are represented on the bottom gradient. We can play with both this one and the purple that we just brought in just by playing with the curves menu and we can achieve some really interesting results. Now, one of the things that you're gonna find is a lot of old posters for films or if you ever had a band back in the 70s like I know most of you have, most of the time if you're just starting out as a band, you can't really afford a full color printing process so you'll print two colors or three colors or four colors and that's where the duotone, tritone and quadtone come in so as we play with a lot of these curves adjustments, you'll see that we're gonna get a lot of different results and this may start to look familiar to you in terms of uh, old film posters pasted on the side of the wall or uh, more commonly like a club poster where two or three bands are playing and they wanna advertise. So I'm gonna drop all the way down here past tritone, go right into the quad tone, and I'm gonna show you how we can achieve some of that old rock poster look. Uh, let's just cancel out of this real quick. And I'm going to open up a fresh duotone dialog. Go straight into quad tone. And we're going to start out just by picking our colors. We want to pick kind of a dark, eh, we'll stick with purple. Kind of a darker purple for now. Okay, remember these two center ones are our midtones. We want to kind of stick with the darker and then working our way lighter as we go up. And I'll scroll up here a little bit. There we go, maybe we'll pick this one here. And this last one, we'll, we'll try to leave somewhere in the neighborhood of white. Now ah, we'll pick one of these. There we go. Hit OK. Now I'm going to play with these curves a little bit because this basically just looks like our grayscale image with a couple little bit of color over it. In a lot of coffee table books, you'll find that they use this sort of technique to add a little color at variance to their images. But again, here we're going to go for the sort of uh, nightclub rock bandy kind of look. 
So I'm going to bring these blacks up way up here. Maybe, if we cooperate. I want a really high contrast on some of these blacks. So I'll grab this and pull it down. There we go. Jump in here to our secondary color. And somewhere in this neighborhood. It's a good hard contrast there. This one we're going to go really high with. This last color, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to grab a straight white. I'll just name it white. Oops. Back to the dual tone. And we will bring this all the way up. Maybe in here. Bring this down a little bit. And there we go. We have something a little more stylish and indicative of a lower budget nightclub sort of advertisement. Well, that's all for the duotone color mode. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below and send any questions that you may have to request at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.